Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi everybody! I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this fine tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to set up Spout Capture for Vinyan, VC Face, and VTube Studio since there are many people who have been asking what the heck is Spout, how do you use it, and blah 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but basically, Spout is a type of plugin. It's a plugin that is not like it's not like it doesn't come with OBS, but there is a plugin you can download that works with OBS. And what this does is that for any program that does support Spout, whether it's Vignon, VTube Studio, VC Face, Shoost, Wadado, or any other programs, what this will allow you to do is that for your VTuber avatar, it no longer will have you use green screen, since green screen can cause nasty artifacts artifacts and stuff, and instead have a much more cleaner effect, a much more cleaner look to your character, while also utilizing less resources as well. Of course, if you're a potato PC, I'm sorry to say, uh, it depends on how your computer reacts. You may say Spout uses a lot of resources, but it should not. But once again, keep in mind, if your computer's a potato, you may have some resource issues. But either way, um... For the most part, Spout is pretty much used by almost every VTuber and it's highly recommended to use it to have just a better quality. Now, how to set it up? Um, the thing is, is that you're going to have to go to a website. You're going to have to go to this GitHub, which I put in the description below. You're going to download the exe file for um, the Spout add-on, uh, add basically. So this is where you're going to download it and it should work on the newest OBS. And once you have that downloaded, pretty much, uh, you'll be able to add a spout capture by right-clicking after you properly installed it and followed the instructions on the program. You'll be able to see a spout capture looking like this. If by chance you do not see this, it probably means that you either installed it incorrectly or your comp computer is incompatible or something like that. You are free to contact, um, you are free to message in the GitHub under the issues here. Um, link letting the developers know that your spout camera or your spout capture is not properly working so please make sure to keep that in mind but if it doesn't work just try to repeat the steps um, and try to mess around maybe try changing OBS versions but either way you can try contacting the devs if you have any problems with spout now with that being said though um, how to enable it so if you once you have it installed and everything like that how do you actually set it up well, for Vinyan, uh, you're going to go into General Settings. You're going to scroll all the way down uh, to where you will see the Spout 2 sender. You're going to click on Use Spout 2, and you're going to give it a name. You can just leave it by default, but if you want to change a name, you can. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you just add the capture to OBS, and you're pretty much done. Now, what about VC Face? VC Face is pretty similar as well. So for VC face here, all you have to do is click on this checkbox right here that says Spout 2 Image Capture Support. And pretty much um, you go to OBS, find the one that says VC face, and that's how you're able to get it working on VC face. Now, the question is, how do you get it on VTube Studio? For VTube Studio's case, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your model settings. So you double click, go to settings here. You're going to click on the camera button up here, and you're going to scroll all the way down near the bottom where it says virtual webcam config, and what you're going to do is you're going to click on activate spout 2. You can also click on install if you're confused on where to install it, but you click it here, install it, and then you activate it and you're done. You do not need NDI anymore, as NDI uses more resources and spout 2 is more optimized and much more better to use. Um, so pretty much, um, that is pretty much how you will set up the Spout Capture for VTube Studio. And also, as a bonus, uh, for Vinyan, since uh, VTube Studio now supports Spout, what you can actually do is you can actually have a node uh, for the Avatar Swapper, um, and you can have it where it triggers your 2D model. Um, like that. So this is pretty fun. Um, this is a little bonus here, but you don't need to do this, but... You can do it if you want, but I just wanted to like showcase that. But either way though, um, now I have to figure out how to set up my character again. Let me reset. Okay, there you go. And let me just toggle the prop off. I still have to fix that setting. But 
either way, um, I hope that at least helps you figure out, um, or at least understand how to set up Spout uh, when it comes to these programs. Of course, uh, there is Shoe, Swadado, and probably many other programs supporting Spout now. Uh, it's pretty much uh, basically a standard when it comes to setting the capture for VTubers in OBS. Um, now, of course, if you don't like it, you can always either, for VTube Studio users, you can use NDI, uh, or if you really want to stick with traditional green screen, you may, but it's quite unnecessary. If, you, if you're going to use Streamlabs, basically, um, that may be a bit tricky because Streamlabs does not allow third-party plugins, which sucks and is stupid because they are literally a forked version of OBS. So, um... So the thing with Streamlabs, uh, it can be a bit more finickier. Um, now, pretty much for Vignon and VC Face, luckily there is a button at the bottom here, uh, which looks like this down here. You can actually use that to enable the... Um, you could probably use that to sort of help you out, at least hide the UI. But honestly, I'm going to say this right now, I prefer OBS. You can use third-party third -party plugins. And depending on your settings, you can actually have it where OBS is more optimized in Streamlabs. Of course, it depends on your settings and depends on your PC. But, but either way, I hope you guys have a lovely day. I hope that this tutorial helps you out in regards to the Spout Camera or the Spout Capture for OBS. And um, definitely, I will say this is definitely worth uh, using Spout over NDI or even green screen. So, yeah. But if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, I'll put my socials here if you have any other questions. Or if you want to recommend another tutorial I can make, then please um, comment down. I'd be happy to make that tutorial as soon as I can. But with that being said, though, hey, 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 hey,